Pascal, can I just go on your heritage? You were born in Belgium, but obviously you've come up through the Dutch system. So do you consider yourself very much Dutch or do you consider yourself Belgian at all? Well, I, I lived there for four years. Um, and then shortly I went to Holland. So I basically grew up in, in Holland my whole life. So I would see I would see myself more a Dutchman than a Belgian. And obviously that time at, at Ajax as well, which is renowned for its academy, Pascal. I mean, just how much of an education was it for you being at Ajax for all those years? Well, this was a good lesson for me to, to learn, um, football-wise and mentally-wise. So basically, I just, I just learned and took what I learned from there. When we look at you in a position, we're always, we've sort of been told that centre back is your position, Pascal, but we've seen you play in a defensive midfield role. Do you consider yourself as a centre back? Yeah, I do, because I, I played there my, most of my life. So I do consider myself as a centre back. So was it, a, was it a surprise then to be asked to play in midfield at all? Was that strange for you? Were you expecting it, or uh, had you had any experience of doing that before? Not really, um, but when he exp- when he asked me to do it, I made sure I was I was ready and just learned what he, what he was teaching me. In terms of as a defender, what has Marcelo made you do that you weren't doing before? How has he helped you improve the positional game? Uh, well, he asked to speak speaking up. Um, I need to do that more. So I think. And also with the English guys, they they speak loads more than I do. <laughs> um, my my passing ability has been, yeah, a, a next level to where it was before. Basically, my all round game. He just improves me in almost every aspect of the game. And. And, and Pascal, so has he asked you then to be more louder with the other players? Is that what you're saying? It'd be a bit more, a bit more vocal. No, that's that's just me asking it for myself. <laughs> I see. I but, understand. Uh, I have to say, the way the way we play, it de- it demands it from you. So I have to get it from myself. If you know what I mean. I mean, the thing is, at Leeds, there are so many good defenders in your position, Pascal. Um, you're having to literally fight for yourself to get a chance, aren't you? Is that how it feels? Well, uh, it's, the, it's the manager's decision, but I, I always just work 100% and then his choice is his. When you look at the colleagues around you, Pascal, like Diego Lorente, who we've only seen a little bit of, but you will have trained with him when he's been fit, say. How good is he and, 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 and what does he bring for you? Yeah, he's a good player. Um, everyone who comes into the team is a good player. He's got good skills on the ball, good passing. Um, it's a bit unfortunate that he's been injured for since he came here and then quickly after he played. So I'm hoping for him to get a quick recovery and then fight for everyone to get a spot on the team. And, and how do you feel that you've played lately, Pascal, these last two games? How do you feel you've been? Well... I think I've been solid. Um, well, <laughs> got two clean sheets, so um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to over exaggerate how how good I was. But I think, I think it was good, um, and well, the the score will say. Yeah, there have been two very good performances. I think one thing we've noticed, Pascal, is that you've been nice and aggressive in the best way, in the in the aerial duels and what have you. Is that something that you um, sort of think is a strength for you? My my aerials? Yeah, I do. I think I, I've got the height and the strength to, to win those those aerial duels. Um, but it's always <laughs> it's always a good fight against, especially the stronger strikers and the bigger ones. So all I do is fight and make sure I win. Um, if not, make sure I recover. And also, Pascal, the step up from playing 23s football to, to not just the first team, but the Premier League. I mean, you were there at, at Anfield on the opening day. I mean, since then, is it still a bit of a dream for you? Is it still very difficult to play in the Premier League? Or do you now find that you're 
sort of settling in quite well. Um, well, I'm getting more comfortable the, the more I play, but I think that's for everyone. But I still, I still enjoy every moment I play because it's still, it's still a dream for me. <laughs> and and obviously you signed that new deal as well, Pascal. Um, that was so you're here for for another four years too. W- was that a big relief for you? And and did you at any point feel that well? Was I going to stay at Leeds, or would I be moving on somewhere else? No, it wasn't. It wasn't a relief. It was more a confidence boost for me to show that they have faith in me, and then all I can do is return it. You said there about playing with a smile on your face. I think that's something that everybody's noticed about Leeds. So even with the heavy defeats at Manchester United, but but how? How hard is it to keep playing that way with that smile on your face and with that yeah. that that happiness and that joy that uh, that that Marcelo's sides try to bring? Um, I think it's just the way the way that we play that we create the happiness. Uh, we create that, so many chances. We play good football. It's just to enjoy. It's just nice t- to play. So that obviously gets the smile on my face, and I think on loads of others. And what about Spurs at the weekend? I mean, this is you know big opposition. Clearly, Pascal, how excited are you about facing them? And where do you see their main threats? It's the same like Liverpool, such a such a good good opponent to play, and they've got well individual individual quality. And then if you look at the numbers, yeah, Son Kane are probably their biggest strengths right now in the team. You know, how much did you ever think that you'd be playing against Harry Kane? I mean, was that ever in your mind? It was in my mind. Um, knowing that it was going to happen, not really. So I'll make sure I enjoy the moment and then try try and get the win. Well, it's a great story, yours, Pascal. You know, real, real success on. So congratulations, you know, so far. And have a great new year as well. Thank you. Have a great new year.